Okay, here for another nail art. Today we're going to be using some of our really beautiful powders. I'm going to be trying to mix it with a little bit of top coat to see how that works so I can place it just where I want to on the nail. I've yet to find um, a way to use my my powders that I really love, that I really find effective. I am going to paint these nails black. So I'm using my Sirius Black from Neo. And then once I'm done that, I'll meet you back here and we'll move on. Okay, my tips are black. Now, to really make this work the way I want it to, um, I'm going to take off the sticky layer. So I'm just going to take a little bit of acetone. Make sure all that sticky layer is taken off. So I just want to wipe them down. And then when I'm done with that, I'll be right back. Okay, sticky layer is gone. Now I'm going to start with my first color. I want to start with this really rich blue. I'm going to put a little bit on my little palette thing here. And I'm going to try dropping a little bit of top coat with it. Oh, that stuff is so smelly. Oh. I'm going to mix it up. And of course, this is a gel top coat too, so. This one is pretty, pretty liquidy. This is the one, my sash feet one, that I like to use for mixing. And I want to take a smaller little liner brush here, detail brush. And I just want to add on my color. And what I'd like to kind of create is like lines and waves in the nail. Of the color that I'm working with. Now it's going to dry a little bit different, but once we get top coat on, it's going to be it's going to be good. Now I still want to use as many of the colors as I can. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we are going to add other colors and we might even come in with a little bit of uh, acetone and try to remove a little bit of it so it doesn't have to be perfect um, I don't know I think it's up to you whether you want to Whether you want to cure in between, it might be a good idea so you don't have to worry about issues with movement and stuff while you're going. But for me, I'm thinking that if I cure in between, I won't know if there's colors I want to kind of remove either if there's anything I kind of want to remove while I'm doing it. Oh, I need a little bit more here. It's getting kind of thick, so...
can mix some more in there. So I think I will probably cure it in between the way it's kind of reacting here and the way I'm kind of painting it on I think it's going to give me what I kind of want anyway so the way I'm putting it on I'm kind of giving it areas where it's kind of more opaque and somewhere it's a little bit more stronger than other Ooh, it's getting thick for brush. Okay. okay, clean up that brush really well. I might even have to keep a little bit of water on the standby and some acetone. There, much better. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and just clean this color off. And I'll do my next one. Now, I think in between, I think I will cure. So I'm going to go ahead and cure these and then move on to my next color. Now that you've kind of seen what I'm going to do, I will do this, cure them all, and then bring them back. And I'll work on the next color. So I'll come back when I've kind of added a bunch of color and then we'll go. For okay, I have all my color on. Now at this point, you could do a few different things. Um, you could go in with black, put waves of black in just to give it more of a black vibe and just kind of have some of those colors popping through. You could top coat. I am matte topping these because I think they're going to be fabulous and I'm going to give it all a really good cure when I'm done and um, yeah like you could add stuff to it top coat it Honestly, I like the design just the way it is. It almost looks like little ribbons of like silk or something or yarn just kind of sitting across the nail. I think this is pretty empty, so I'm going to try my other one. This is one of the best mats I've ever run across doing all my nails and my nail art. I don't just like a silky mat. Um, Neil's got a nice silky mat if that's what you kind of like. I like pure mat, like a pure flat mat with no like I want it to be like a velvet and this is one of the best ones I get it through oh oh god what's that company called uh Desors in uh no Ors de Angles or something it's in Montreal I get it online but it's called god I'm getting really low I'm gonna have to order some um, Finny Plus, it's their brand, the actual company's brand. They sell other stuff, like that's what they are, like their distributor. But they sell other stuff, and they're actually quite reasonable, and I've gone through them before for quite a bit of stuff. If I can um, look up the website and let you know what it is, I will. Works really well, the stuff. 
I'll show you here. I'll take it out of the lamp and now you get to see what it looks like. It is completely matte, like matte, matte. And yet it doesn't interfere with anything underneath. It's not really thick. It's a real beautiful matte. I've always loved this mat. As soon as I tried it, I knew it's like a velveteen type mat and it looks really good on stuff. I can't believe how low I'm getting. This is how much I love this stuff. I usually have bottles of it on. I don't normally do a lot of matte nails, but these... As soon as I saw this one, and honestly it stands up, it's not one of those type of mats that after a few days of wear, it's kind of run its course, you know. Stuff is really strong. It works really good. I'm going to get these in. It doesn't take a huge amount to make a nice mat on these. Like with this stuff, this stuff is so good. Where's my... Uh I don't even know where my cell phone is. Oh, it's up there. I don't know why I put it up there. I never put it up there. Let me see if I can get the site free here that I go to. It is another nail art I'm working on. Uh, shopping. It's under this site. Angles Dior.com. So it's this uh, Angles. Dior.com and I usually get a lot of glam and get glitz and stuff from there. They're really reasonably priced. See their prices are real good um, and they have their own brand through here like you go through the home and just go on to their brand or look it up directly but that's where I get that matte top coat they got like all the brands See, here's their brand. This is one of their brands, too. This is one of the best top coats I've ever used. And they have Gelish, and they have the Morgan Taylor. I get all those through them. This is kind of some of the different ones that they, they deal with. This is their brand. But they have SE and all these different types on here. And, like, some things can be expensive because, like, you can get the full sets of, like, powder blushes and stuff here. This is really good. Again, it's Angles Dior. It's O-N-G-L-E-S D hyphen O-R. But they don't have the hyphen, of course, in the dot com. It's really good. It's a really good site. And see, there you go. See, I'm running out of matte, and it's still matted it really, really well. They're really good. I really love that mat. That's one of the best mats I've ever worked with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures for you, some photos, and then um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, and here's my... I'm going to call these silly string. They look so cool like that. Silly bright strings of lines of color. Do you like... Hi. Do you like my silly strings? Be back. Do you like From my silly bathroom. We like silly string. You like silly string? All yeah, right. Yeah, because over here is in a can. You can. Yes, it comes in a can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures, and I will see you next time.